This short video provides an introduction to the Factair BA20E breathing air compressor, its operating instructions and key safety features. This video should form the foundation for more detailed training specific to your particular application. Further information is also available in the operating and maintenance manual. It is important that decisions regarding selection and use of respiratory protective devices are made by a competent person. The BA20E is a mobile breathing air compressor providing a total breathing air supply of 467 litres per minute at 8.5 bar, equally split between two flow-protected CEJN profile outlet sockets. Also available are ATEX Zone 1 T4 certified versions of this unit, both for temperate and hot climate conditions. For environments not immediately dangerous to life and health, versions are available without the failsafe emergency high pressure reserves. The BA20E is powered by a 4 kW 380 to 415 volt three phase electric motor, complete with a direct online starter and a 5 meter cable and plug. The BA20E is mounted within a powder-coated, two-wheeled tubular steel frame, incorporating drop-down handles and four tie-down points. The unit incorporates storage facilities for two 6 or 9-litre high-pressure cylinders to provide a fully integrated automatic breathing air reserve supply system, incorporating an audible and visual indicator system that will provide a warning of any low or high-pressure failure. The electric motor is directly coupled to a hydrovane rotary vane compressor. Air from the compressor is then passed through an aftercooler, which reduces the temperature back down to within 5 degrees of the ambient surroundings. The air is then passed through a series of filters. The first of these is a pre-filter, which removes particulate and condensate. The second filter is called the coalescing filter. This also removes condensate and any oil residues that may be present at this point. Auto drains fitted to both this and the pre-filter are piped to a small holding reservoir, which collects the condensate and any oil residue for safe disposal. The third filter is the activated carbon filter, which removes odour. The air is then delivered to a membrane dryer capable of drying the air to a minimum 5 degrees centigrade suppression of dew point in ambient temperatures greater than 0 degrees centigrade. The resulting air quality is well in excess of the requirements of EN12021. From the membrane dryer, the air is then supplied to the control panel. This is designed so that if only one outlet is connected to a breathing air mask, then the unit will provide the full capacity of the compressor to the outlet. However, if a second breathing air mask is connected, then the flow will be split equally between both outlets. This ensures that if positive pressure masks are being used, should either go to open circuit, for example if the mask is removed whilst being still connected to the outlet, then the second user will still be guaranteed half the available breathing air supply. Each outlet also incorporates inhalation reservoirs. These ensure that the compressor is able to meet the peak demand in flow rate during the inhalation breath. Position the compressor on firm level ground in a well-ventilated area, away from any source of hazardous gas, dust or vapour, so that any contamination created by the work to be undertaken does not drift towards the compressor. Please note the breathing air filtration will not remove carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. Therefore, position the compressor well away from any potential vehicle exhaust contamination. Whilst the compressor is not running, cold and depressurized, check the oil level. The oil should fill the sight glass. Connect to a suitable three-phase power supply. This needs to be 16 amps or greater. If you are connecting to a power supply point for the first time, carry out a rotation check by pressing the start button. 
then immediately pressing the emergency stop and check the direction of rotation by viewing the cooling fan through the guard. The cooling fan should be rotating in the direction of the arrow on the motor. The quality of the air supplied is established by using a safe air tester, such as the one shown here. Each time you move the compressor to a new location, you may have to carry out an air quality check. If you are using the equipment in the same location, an air quality test should be carried out according to your own risk assessment, but no less than once every three months. Ensure emergency stop button is fully out by rotating clockwise. Press the green start button. The compressor will now run up to pressure and the high pressure alarm will sound. The alarm will sound and both warning lamps will be lit until pressure rises to a safe level. Ensure cylinder bleed valve is closed. Turn on both HP cylinders. Provided the stored pressure is above 140 bar, then the HP alarm will cease and the system is available for use. If the cylinder pressure is below 140 bar, then the alarm will continue and the cylinders will need to be refilled before safe operation can continue. Connect all required breathing air hoses. The BA-20E is now ready for use. A qualified attendant should be in charge of the equipment during operation and ensure that it is operated only and strictly in accordance with the instructions provided. The attendant should check that all hoses are laid out without kinks or tangles, are safe from interference or damage, and that orifices of all couplings are clear of dirt. If the unit switches over to cylinder supply, the attendant should immediately instruct the operatives to leave the hazardous area. Before you commence the shutdown procedure, it is imperative you ensure the machine is not supporting life. Then you disconnect all breathing air hoses and turn off both air cylinder valves. Press the red emergency stop button. The alarm will then sound. Press and hold system vent valve until air pressure has vented and all alarms have ceased. Warnings are given by alarm indicators on the control panel and an audible alarm. Should the low pressure air supply fail for any reason, then the audible alarm will sound and the LP alarm lamp will light and the status indicator will change from green to red. In this condition, the reserve air cylinders will be activated and all breathing apparatus wearers should be evacuated to a safe area. Should the high pressure cylinders drop below 140 bar, then the audible alarm will sound and the HP alarm lamp will light. In this condition, the failsafe reserve may no longer be adequate and it is recommended that all breathing air wearers are evacuated to a safe area and the cylinders are replaced or refilled. Further details on the reserve times for different types of respiratory protective device are included in the manual. We hope that now we've shown you the safety features of the Fact Air system, you will share our confidence that this equipment can form the basis of a safe system of work. If you have any questions, contact Fact Air for more information and details of your local distributor or visit our website. Thank you for watching.